क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अ कन्वोल्यूशन थियरम ऑफ फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टडी द स्टेटमेंट एंड देन विल मूव ऑन टू प्रूफ सो इफ अ फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एक्स ऑफ टी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एक्स ऑफ जे ओमेगा देन Fourier transform x1 of t and x2 of t is also replaced or represented in terms of Fourier domain by x1 of j omega and x2 of j omega. So, according to convolution theorem of Fourier transform, I can say that Fourier transform of x1 of t convolved with x2 of t is represented by x1 of j omega into x2 of j omega. That is, if we want to convert a convolution of two functions into Fourier domain, then it is always a product of Fourier transform of both the functions separately. so we will prove this whole statement first of all what is the definition of convolution according to definition of a convolution x1 of t convolved with x2 of t means what we are going to first of all we are going to convert both this t into tau then first function is represented in terms of tau but second one is delayed by t after converted into tau and then whole product is integrated with respect to tau over the range of minus infinity to infinity now we will use a definition of fourier transform and in that x of t is then later on let replaced by x1 of tau convolved with x2 of tau so first of all the definition of fourier transform i'm going to substitute this x of t value as x1 of tau convolved with x2 of tau i'm going to substitute this x of t value by x1 of t convolved with x2 of t look at here i have substituted that value or here also i'm going to use the same thing now here we will use definition of a convolution look at here i am going to change this e to the power minus j omega t as so look at here e to the power minus j omega tau e to the power j omega tau if the bases are same then powers always get added so j omega tau minus j omega tau is get cancelled answer will be 0 and e to the power 0 is always 1 so we will get the same answer which is e to the power minus j omega t but right now what i'm going to do i'm going to add these two functions like i'll take minus j omega common so this whole term is represented by t minus tau now i'm what i'm going to do as this t minus tau is represented what i'm going to do i'm going to put this value in this equation but before substituting what i'm going to do is t minus tau is considered as m so if this t minus tau is considered as m then if i differentiate this t with respect to then if i perform a differentiation then these two are the variables and this one is a constant so after applying a differentiation then we can write this one as dt equals to dm i'm going to substitute all this value in this formula t minus tau is represented by m this is our tau now here this e to the power minus j omega t is replaced by e to the power minus j omega tau into e to the power minus j omega t minus tau but this t minus tau is replaced by m so i can say that you will get e to the power minus j omega tau and 
minus j omega m and this dt is replaced by dm. Now look at it. What I'm going to do? I'm going to integrate x of tau e to the power minus j omega tau d tau or you can say I'm going to keep x of tau d tau e to the power minus j omega tau in one integration and x2 of m e to the power minus j omega m dm in another integration. Then what will be the equation? Let's see. Look at here. As I said, I'm going to keep x1 of tau e to the power minus j omega tau d tau in one integration and x2 of m e to the power minus j omega m dm in another integration. Now, from the definition of Fourier transform, I can say that x1 of tau e to the power j omega tau d tau is nothing but the definition of Fourier transform. So, this whole thing is replaced by or represented by x1 of j omega whereas the second one is also replaced by because both are nothing but the definition of Fourier transform. So I can say that Fourier transform x1 of tau convolve with x2 of tau that is a convolution theorem result is x1 of j omega into x2 of j omega and this is the proof. This is how we are going to prove the convolution theorem. Now in next video we will see the next proof or you can say next property of Fourier transform. But for that stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.